Hi, everyone. I wanted to share some cosmic wisdom with you for the upcoming month of December. And here's the overriding question and theme I have for you. How graceful are you with finding balance in your life? How graceful are you with when to act and when to hold back? with allowing emotion to arise, but also not becoming overwhelmed or overreactive in your emotion, right? How do you find the balance between work and play, between self and other? So we're in Sagittarius season now. Um, happy birthday, by the way, to all my Sagittarius friends. And Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, um, which is interesting because Jupiter just went direct after several months of being retrograde and kind of holding back. Jupiter just went direct um, this past week. And also Jupiter is in the very, very last degrees and stages of being in Pisces. It's the last time Jupiter is going to be in Pisces for the next 12 years. So then the quality of Jupiter, which is to expand and to grow and to have a sense of soul purpose and really seeking my ideals, my vision, my highest truth, right? Jupiter being in Pisces, which it co-rules, um, Pisces is about being in that oceanic flow of allowing life to arise as it is that transcendent feeling of there's something much bigger at play that I'm not in control of that I surrender to. So we're in this really last few weeks um, until Jupiter moves into Aries, which will happen on December 20th. So now to December 20th, it's like the last moments for the next 12 years for you to really evaluate in your life. How much are you able to allow yourself to surrender to life as it is? without resisting, fighting, being angry, aggravated, feeling victimized by life as it shows up for you? How much are you still able to find the opportunity for your own growth, for your own meaning, creating narratives, creating dreams and visions, paying attention to what shows up in your life as something more mystical, right? Having this perspective of, ah, even if I don't quite understand this in the moment, the way dreams are, dreams are strange and sometimes off-putting and they don't make rational sense in a linear, rational, analytic way, but on some level, they're transcendent or prophetic. And sometimes they don't make sense until we've arrived in the moment where they do, where it hits. So that's the nature and quality of the time we're in right now. And this is really beautifully reflected in the tarot cards for Sagittarius. So first of all, the, the main tarot card for Sagittarius is Temperance. This is a beautiful deck that my daughter just bought me in France. It's a revisioned um, like nouveau tarot of the Rider Waite. And it's illuminated. I don't know if you can tell it's shiny and pretty. But um, the card of Temperance is a card of water and fire, which is amazing because water is Pisces. Being, let's see how her toe is dipped into the pool. It's being sensitive and intuitive and allowing yourself to just sense the flow of what is arising in the moment without needing to control it. The water pouring between two cups, again, representing this, can I just dance with whatever is showing up in my life, with this moment, with this feeling, with this thought, whatever is arising, can I be graceful with it? Can I observe it and create awareness? And like the Ram Dass taught, you know, I am loving awareness. Can I lovingly be aware of what is arising and be very graceful and in balance with it? The other interesting thing about this card is it's also fire. She has the sun on her third eye of higher revelation, and she's wearing wings of fire, um, which represent you know, this fire sign, um, the sun is rising. There's a bunch of fire elements in this card. She has the upward facing red triangle at her heart chakra. Again, that fire symbol. Oh, you can see she's got like the sun, like almost a halo. Um, and what's interesting is that Jupiter is moving from this watery sign of Pisces into the fire sign of Aries on December 20th, right before the winter solstice, which will be on December 21st. 
And the solstice is also the rebirth of the sun out of darkness. We go, we hit the very, very darkest, shortest day in terms of daylight hours of sunshine. And from that moment on, there's a movement towards more and more and more light and more and more fire. So again, this like, how do I, for now, these next three weeks, how do I stay in the intuitive, the sensitive, the what I'm dreaming, feeling, um, emoting, and then get ready for the shift in December into action because Aries is fire, it's bold, it's let's go, let's go into action. So again, this question of like, how do I take my dreams and my visions into action? What are the next steps, the strategies? How do I move forward? Um, how do I, you know, take what I'm sensing and intuiting will create contentment for me in my life and really then do something with that. Um, so that's where we find ourselves. What else do I want to tell you about this? Um, in the, we're coming up to all the holidays, right? And all the holidays at this time of year have a lot to do with bringing light into darkness. And really, how do we reconnect to the light that is within us? On a core level, you know, Kabbalah mysticism teaches that we are at our very essence, light. We're beings of light, God's light, divine light. And really that light emanates through us, through our actions in the world, through how we give to others. You know, all of the gift giving in this season is really an expression of wanting to share, wanting to connect, wanting to shine and bring some brightness and joy to others. Um, so, you know, when you're gift giving this year, whether it's tangible material gifts or whether you're rejecting the consumerist and you're just giving gifts of expression, of gratitude, of your presence, you know, of really just showing up for people um, in a way that is needed, right? What is needed and how can I meet that need is a beautiful gift. The gift of understanding, the gift of attention, of listening, of sensing, you know, in the presence of another person. So um, what did I want to say about that? That it's, you know, it's, it's about ultimately, again, grace. How balanced are we in what we give and what we take? in managing those light and dark aspects of ourselves, uh, managing how we bring light into the world, how we restore and replenish our own light. Um, so just some thoughts for you for this month. I hope that's helpful for you. If that resonated for whatever is happening, you know, in your inner or outer circumstance, I hope that that resonates. Um, I did want to show you one last thing, which is the other card. This is the card of Jupiter in the tarot, which is the wheel of fortune. And the wheel of fortune has this sense of like, you know, round and round it goes, where it stops, nobody knows. And again, this question of, am I faithful that whatever life is going to present me with next, I have the capabilities to respond to that, you know, and that um, I'm trusting, I'm really trusting in the good fortune and beneficence and benevolence of life to give me, show me what it is I need for my highest good, for my highest potential and growth. Um, so I'm wishing you all a month of happiness, joy, surrender, grace, balance, um, happy holidays to you and your loved ones. Please reach out if you have any questions, comments, you can do that in the video in response. Um, I always love to hear from you guys. All right. Happy holidays, everyone.